Oh, dude, is that rain? <laughs> I think that's rain. You better not mess with him. <laughs> get water bubbled, bitch. Let's get it, rain. <laughs> oh, what? I'm not even playing as rain. I'm playing as freaking Kotal. Dude, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to kill you, rain. Damn it, I don't want to do this. Don't make me do it. Oh, no. <laughs> rain, I'm sorry. I didn't want to. <laughs>
He can create jet streams, like pressurized jet streams of water that he uses like swords and projectiles. It's just, it's just badass. I get excited every time I think about it, okay? Don't judge me. Now, Rain's story within Mortal Kombat starts off with a character named Argus. Now, Argus is a god, and he's the protector of the realm called Edenia. This is the realm where Katana and Melina are from. Now, Argus himself isn't necessarily the best guy in the world. He likes to have fun every now and then. Maybe sleep around with multiple women, I don't know. And he eventually had a bastard son. Now, he didn't necessarily go on Maury or Steve Wilkos, but we're pretty sure that Rain is his son. <laughs> now, now, because he was ashamed of his infidelity, he basically exiled Rain away from the royal family, eventually to be raised by a key general in the Adenian army. So that's how Rain kind of has his, uh, his military, you know, combat background. Then after Rain became a grown ass man, all right, there was a guy named Shao Kahn that invaded Edenia and he basically just tore everything to shit. But after Rain learned his true heritage from Quan Chi, AKA the douchebag of Netherrealm, he decided to avoid death by Shao Kahn's hand and he eventually betrayed Edenia. Is that a crappy thing to do? Yes, but, okay, he didn't have the best upbringing, you know what I mean? Plus he's cool as shit. So like, just let it happen. So essentially he joined Shao Kahn in defeating Edenia uh, because you know he wanted to have his own army and so forth. He wanted to you know feel a position of power. Then after that Shao Kahn decided that he wanted to destroy Earthrealm. So he convinced Rain to help him with that. But while the Earthrealm invasion was going on, Katana, which is a former Edenian, actually informed him that Shao Kahn killed his adoptive father. So Rain, after learning of this, got pretty fucking pissed off. Rightfully so. You know, I feel like if you kill the guy that raised me, I'm gonna be pretty, pretty mad, at least. At least upset. So Rain set out on a mission to kill Shao Kahn. Uh, you know, they never mentioned whether or not he did or if he got close to killing him or whatever. But after he learns that, you know, Rain becomes so much more of a lone wolf. He doesn't fight for any type of side or anybody. Uh, you know, he just feels that he now has a claim to the throne because of his royal heritage. And that's the reason why he's my favorite character. He's just a badass that's trying to get what's rightfully his. And that, of course, is where, you know, the Mortal Kombat X storyline kind of picks up. He's manipulating uh, Melina and so forth to kind of, you know, get his claim to a throne. So now that you know a little bit about Rain and his storyline within Mortal Kombat, let me tell you how this freaking petition came about. So about five or six months before Mortal Kombat X release, you know, uh, because he was such a high demanded character for Mortal Kombat 9, you know, people really thought that he was going to be a main roster character for MKX. Uh, we just kind of assumed that. So, you know, Rain fans, we were all really excited and, you know, they started revealing characters little by little and all of us were just sitting back like, okay, cool character, can't wait to see Rain. Then about four months prior to release, Ed Boon started hinting about Rain being playable, you know, with uh, posts on Twitter, you know, involving him. So all of the fans, we're all getting our freaking umbrellas ready, you know what I mean? But little by little, you know, one character after another starts getting revealed. And all the Rain fans are like, yeah, those characters are cool, but like, where the hell is Rain? And eventually the game came out and we all realized that he was not on the main roster. But then we didn't give up hope yet. We did not give up hope. A large amount of fans basically just ran through the crypt, purchasing everything, going into every room, assuming that he might be unlockable, you know, because why not? And he wasn't. Rain... Rain's not in the game, at least as a playable character. What does that mean? That means you get to fight Rain and basically beat the shit out of him, but you don't get to play him. Worst thing to do to Rain fans ever. <laughs> so because this pissed me off and, you know, disappointed a whole bunch of Rain fans, I decided to, you know, take it upon myself 
to create this petition a couple months ago and it's been met with massive success on social media. Basically what I do is every time NetherRealm Studios post something on Twitter or Facebook or what have you, I just, you know, mention the rain petition and people go crazy over it. You know, there's a lot of rain fans out there and the petition to this day now has over a thousand signatures. I'm sure by the time some of you are watching this, it'll have multiple thousands. Uh, but it just goes to show that there's a whole lot of freaking rain fans out there. And those guys are really the main reason why I created this petition because I know video games for a lot of people are, you know, their outlet for stress. And if you happen to be a hardcore Mortal Kombat fan, which I happen to be, then it makes the game so much more enjoyable, fun, and stress relieving if your favorite character is in it. Now, I had no intention of creating this petition or this video when I first made my Twitter account. But when I got on social media and I saw how much, you know, the hardcore fans, kids, and just players that really wanted their favorite character in the game, when I saw how much they were being picked on and bullied by fucking trolls, you know who you are and you are horrible people. So this petition represents something much more than just me wanting my favorite character in the game. It represents those people that are getting bullied, picked on, made fun of online just for being a hardcore fan and wanting their character. You know, it represents their voice. It also represents how awesome NetherRealm Studios is because they've always been so fan oriented and geared towards their fans and I for one and the rest of Mortal Kombat community really does appreciate that. But again guys, if you want to help out and stand up for fan demand, the petition is at the top of the description below. Um, you know, I think it's going to be something super special if, you know, we're able to play a character within a game that we all helped create. So I look forward to doing that with you guys. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to comment below, click that thumbs up button, and share the video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to the freaking channel already. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, okay? I just, I get emotional when people don't subscribe. So please help me out. <laughs> all right guys thank you for tuning in i'll see everybody here in a couple of days all right keep living that life because that's what thugs do baby okay <laughs> all right guys take it easy